Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on recognising the shape of quadratic, cubic, reciprocal and exponential graphs. Now in previous videos we looked at how to plot these various graphs and we ended up with like a sort of particular shape. So quadratics, for example, you might remember, always have either a smiley face shape or kind of a hill shape. And we're going to see that again, but we're also going to see the shapes of other graphs when we plot them. So let's take quadratics first. A quadratic equation looks something like y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. So it has an x squared term, possibly an x term, possibly a constant term. Remember, constant term is just a term which doesn't have a variable in it. So it could just be like plus three, for example. So an example of this would be like, I don't know, y is equal to 2x squared minus 3x, for example. That would be an example of a quadratic equation. So you get one of two shapes. Either the shape will look like this, so a kind of smiley face shape, and that will occur whenever the number in front of the x squared is positive. So 2 is a positive number, it will be that kind of shape, a smiley face shape. So this will occur if a is greater than 0. And if a is less than zero, then you get some kind of hill shape like that, and that will be when a is less than zero. So for example, if you're sketching y equals minus one x squared, or minus three x squared plus two x, that kind of thing. What about cubics? Well, a cubic is when you have a cube term, as you might guess. So you have something x cubed plus something x squared plus something x plus something. And b, c, and d might be zero. So it might just be like, for example, y equals 1x cubed. That would still be a cubic. So you get different shapes depending on a, the number in front of the x cubed. So if a is positive, so you have 3x cubed or 2x cubed or whatever, you get a kind of uphill roller coaster type shape. So it has two turns. It has a turn right and then a turn left. And if a is less than zero, so a negative cubic, like I don't know, minus 3x cubed, minus 5x cubed, minus x cubed, for example, then it has a downhill roller coaster shape. And if you have a, a simple cubic equation, like I don't know, y equals x cubed, it's useful to recognize the shape of that. It will go through the origin like this and then come up. So it will also be flat at the origin. So it kind of doesn't come downhill like this one because it is a positive cubic. It's 1x cubed. 1 is a positive number. So it does have an uphill shape like that. And it still has, look, a right turn and a left turn. Just like this has a right turn and a left turn. But in the middle, it doesn't go downhill. It's just flat. So this is horizontal at the middle. What about reciprocal graphs? Well, that's when you have y equals something over x. For example, you might have y equals 3 over x or minus 2 over x. Now, when the number at the top is positive, so if a is positive, then you get this kind of hourglass shape like that. So in the first quadrant and the third quadrant, so that's the first, second, third, fourth quadrant. And if a is negative, then it will be in the other quadrant, so the second quadrant and the fourth quadrant like that. And finally, exponential, that's when you have equations of the form y equals some number times some number to the power of x. So where here, the x is in the power. So for example, you might have y equals 3 times 2 to the x. That would be an example of an exponential curve. And basically, they usually look like this. So it'll be like a plane taking off like that, where the curve is gradually becoming flat and towards the x-axis as x becomes a big negative number. So it'll look like that. And in fact, it's possible to have like a plane landing as well. This will happen if b is greater than 1. And this kind of curve will occur if b is between 0 and 1. But I would worry about this case less. This kind of thing you'll see more in, for example, like A-level 